It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buccaneers and the Colts coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here. It'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Get strapped in, it's just about time to get the party started. And off we go on EA Sports. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. On first down, Manning. And that throw behind is he missed him incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But they proved up to the incompletion, and now it's second and ten again from the 25-yard line. Here's James, and he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So now an early drive. to throw, it's Manning. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is gonna have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down, they complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it, and receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there. They can get to do some work afterwards. Throwing Manning. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. James. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know this kind of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Manning now to throw. You're too much. Down he goes. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. The lessons will continue of this rookie. He's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. That far behind the line, he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack, whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. Two 
to punt on fourth down. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez. This will be fielded at the 17. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. Brady now on first down. Short throw complete to Gronkowski. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat what the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. A quick throw by Brady, complete. He's across midfield. Now he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Brady. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. And the Colts are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. So first and 10 now from the 30. So after the INT, it's Manning. Caught left side by Hilton. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. All right, rifles one, and that's gonna be intercepted. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. 
others. They're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. On first and ten, here's Brady. This is Bell on the dump off. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And out of bounds right around the 20. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up third and two. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw, and they pick up the first down. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Buccaneers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Five plays there on that drive. And it was finished off by the 14-yard touchdown run. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It's complete. He finds Falk here. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. From the gun, it's Manning. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. On the ground, it's James. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run it with James. 
And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. And he's going to try and do this himself. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. Third and two. Working from the gun, Manning. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they'd built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. Taken in, and they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Manning now on first down. The open man is Clark, complete. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Second down and three. Now a handoff up the middle. It's James, and yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Here's Manning to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And now a stoppage. It looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. touchdown they'll have to hold on that at least for now ouch in a big way like ripping the band-aid off there can they let the sting subside and come back and get it done here's another first and goal but from a little further back this time following the penalty shotgun now for Manning and a quick throw here that's complete and he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Come on, let's go now. Let's go. From the 10 yard line, here's second and goal. Manning going to throw. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20 yard line. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Throwing now is Manning. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. On first down, Brady. Short throw complete to Gronkowski. So nothing doing there, and it's second down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Okay. On second down, it's Bell. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Now Brady. That is caught, and they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Fancy footwork at the 45. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. They'll go again with Bell. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. 
Now a first down carry by Bell. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack, and you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line, and he's able to take it into the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Manning now on first down. He's got it to Hilton. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Manning. Throw on the right side, complete to Harrison. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. To throw is Manning. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Second and ten. Up the middle they go. It's James, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to, and if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first and ten, here's Manning. He's got Harrison left side complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now a give right side, James. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Ordinarily in short yardage, most people don't run a toss because it takes a little bit longer to develop. But some teams see it as a very physical type run because the amount of people that get out in front of the runner, offensive linemen, tight ends, sometimes an extra back, they like to run that play there and try and run over people. Now a throw here, hauled in. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Two. 
Two yards to go, second down. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Throwing his Manning on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now, seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game and you look at the backgrounds of these kickers? It's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff, and it's away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside, and then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big-time tackle for no gain for the offense. A screen to Bell. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now a third and six. Here's Brady. Throw out wide. He's incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. This is taken at the 23. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board, but this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Play action, Manning. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Here's second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. 
It's James. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. And if his coaches are correct, we're going to see a lot more runs like that from this young rookie going forward. And you know slapping each other on the back up in the boots right now? The scouting department, because they really recommended this guy highly, and he's justifying their faith in him. Throwing on first down is Manning. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Manning will try again on second down. He finds his man complete. It's Harrison. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Up the middle they go. It's James. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Brady now on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now they'll try and run wide side to Bell. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. The 71 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of... Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. And they are gonna take over right there at the 22-yard line. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horoscope ball? Is biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, Davis. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? So after the INT, it's Manning. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. This is caught, and all the way down inside the five to the four. 
Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Manning. He'll find Clark open right side. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have come back to make it a two-point game. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did... Speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And the lead is cut to one at 14 at 13. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so try to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. To throw is Brady. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good. Look at this! Metal on the field, a breakaway! And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, it worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Again, it's Brady. Short throw complete to Gronkowski. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now a second and two. Brady now to throw. He finds his man complete. It's done. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. This will be caught inside the 10. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now Bell. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bucs with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Bucs offense set to begin this third quarter. And, Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. Brady now on first down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Brady. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, 
And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now this throw caught left side. And he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing now is Brady. His throw incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Short throw complete to Gronkowski. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Mike Evans, 40 yards. And the Bucs are able to widen their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game, even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken... And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 56 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? On first down, Manning. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and ten. Now Manning. 
That'll be caught by James. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun, it's Manning. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Colts first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Manning now on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. That's good for 28 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Now Manning again. Touchdown, Colts! From 21 yards away. And the Colts have cut it back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we didn't put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Shane Steichen, aggressive as a play caller. He's going to go for two here. They'll try and throw for it. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And we shift the spotlighting Mike Evans. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, it you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Brady's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Meanwhile, Brady's throw on target to Godwin here. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Second and a couple. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucks may have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now after the false start, here's second and seven.
Here's Brady to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Play action. Now it's Brady. Oh, that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The Colts set to take over here offensively. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And down he'll go at the 25. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now Manning. And that's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing is Manning. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Manning gonna throw. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they'll start with great field position at the 41 yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Up the middle, here's Bell. Bell so light on his feet that he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 101 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. One of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you don't have a big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or you have defensive tackles that might line up in the A-gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, it gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run broke the contact and got some space. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw, it's Brady. Pro right side, taken in by Godwin. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. Brady 
he going to try and throw on third down? He's got his target. That's complete. And the Bucs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Bell is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. So stuffed from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers are able to add on to that lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly so you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. On first and ten, here's Manning. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Manning. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker, fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. Exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. <laughs> yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. This is caught by Evans. 
Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. To throw is Brady. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you're talking about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Here's a give to Bell running left. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Brady on third down. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Bucs. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard as we start the fourth. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. The box ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. 
This offense so far on third down, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. Working from the gun, Manning. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. Pick up. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. To throw, it's Manning. And again, he finds Clark. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent gain. Now Manning throwing on second down. There's Clark, he's got him again. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Manning. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Manning now to throw. It's complete. He finds Falk here. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Manning to throw once more. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try and run for it here with Dickerson. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four-down territory. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes it in for a Colts score. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. 
everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. On first down, Brady. Throw complete to Bell. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing now is Brady. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a coach TD. So that, Charles, obviously just a game changer here in this fourth quarter, and they're an extra point away from stealing the lead. And stealing is the absolute right word for it, because that'll work up your sideline, won't it, partner? And there's still time remaining, but boy, I mean, you think about it, you go from an offense with a lead in the ball trying to salt things away to a completely different scenario now after the return for a score. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, giving the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Bucks now. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth-quarter deficit, and they need this drive to end in points. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. Quick throw, fighting Mike Evans. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Brady now to throw. To Evans on the slam. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> They'd gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
That's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Brady. Over the middle, Adams. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about covers, we just talk about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And his kick is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And the Colts coming out now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Manning to throw on second down. He's got it complete to Clark. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring us to a third and four. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Give them 32 on the play. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Again, it's Manning. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Bucs are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. The Bucs ready to take over once again. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Yeah. 
So after the INT, it's Brady. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Now Brady. sideline falls incomplete critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out now they're likely gonna have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline now on fourth down on is the punt team sending this one away pulled in at the 24 Six-yard return after a punt of 48. For the Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Manning going to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Manning to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is taken at the 18. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Brady now on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll try and run some clock now with Bell. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down, keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. 
Well, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Fifty-one yards on the punt there. And it will be first and ten as they take over. So the Colts now down by two. A little under a minute fifty remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. throw Manning complete Pollard and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds there's a good push to the tight end and I think that we're looking at something out central casting frankly absolutely I mean size the hands speed I mean can flat out run you put that whole package together you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator don't you Manning to throw and it's complete over the middle of Clark. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. To throw is Manning. James has got it. Complete. Nice, well-coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Now second down in a few inches. Now Manning. Now a quick throw there is incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. And this is caught, covered in by Clark. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down, so that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are on the field? Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here comes second down. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's James. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Would be a long field goal try from here as they try to hustle to the line. He's back to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Fourth down now defensively. Charles, you know they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. He's 
showtime, baby. Keep our boys. Let's go, fellas. Dig down deep. Here we go. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is no good. Oh, by the slimmest of margins, he missed it wide to the left. And they'll remain down by two. Yeah, Brandon, that's a tough distance with the game on the line because you'd like to give your kicker better odds than that. Anything 50 plus, we know it's going to be difficult. And that one proved to be just a little too difficult. And now it appears it's going to cost them the football game. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. And that one will go down in the books as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Just about do it. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now... It's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory.